So one of my most viewed videos out of movie videos is the top 10 most hated movies. If you haven't seen that video, you already know that movies like Cat that have been on this video that have been that have been included on this list will not be included on this list. So you wanna see my opinion on the movie Cats, just watch that video instead. There's a 10 more cinematic disasters in Matt and train wrecks that I hate. And yeah, these are 10 mo movies I hate. Number 10. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I like Jurassic, the first three Jurassic Park movies and Jurassic Park World. But Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom does pisses me off. The, the, I actually watched this movie. didn't watch the review for this movie. And then I just realized how bad this movie really is. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is basically the beginning of the movie. It's about the going, them going on the island and them going and saving the dinosaurs from extinction. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, saving the dinosaurs from the extinction, even though we sort of de-extincted them in the first place. But again, we all, we, they brought them back for our entertainment, for movies. And yeah, this movie, and then the other half of the movie, Indoraptor. Indoraptor might be the most bullcrap dinosaur of all of the dinosaurs in this entire series. For some reason, the Indoraptor just wants to kill this person, Macy, for some weird reason. The, it cannot smell people from like a tomb... You know, dinosaurs are known to have, I haven't found out to have extremely good sense of smell. But the dinosaur can't, but the endoraptor can't smell them. Literally right behind a statue. And yeah, the endoraptor scenes are just absolutely horrible. That's the ring that ruined the movie. It's the entire part of endoraptor. And the fact that they created endoraptor for war, even though they, even though we literally have tanks and vehicles. Why would you want to make a living? We made tanks to replace horses and living animals. We made, you know, bombers and stuff. A raptor's going to do nothing in war. And at the, at the ending, the more be releasing dinosaurs. We all know that's setting up for a sequel, wisdom making. We all know that's a setup for a sequel. It's just, another, it's just like the how many people hated the second Jurassic Park movie. Jurassic World 4 and Kingdom was a massive threat that was still better than Jurassic Galaxy by a foul mile. But yeah, I still am still angry at this movie to this day. If I'm going to watch a good Jurassic Park movie, I'm going to watch the first one, the third one, and the fourth one. Not Fallen Kingdom ever again. And maybe probably once in the future, or twice. See if I will, if he's even really as bad as I remember. But yeah, this movie was terrible. The poor, you know, it's just they wanted to, you know, make an excuse to make more movies. So yes, they made this movie. To set up more movies, essentially. So yeah, number two, forty-seven meters down. I just do not like this movie. Forty-seven meters down is terrible. It's terrible. Forty-seven meters down is essentially a garbage sock movie. Yep, that's basically what it is. I watched it once. Probably will never watch it again. I saw hey, this movie did really well at the summer box office, so it's a sock movie, and sock movies are very fun to watch. Like the Meg, you have Jaws and Jaws 2. Those are great sock movies compared to 47 Meters Down. 47 Meters Down is like the, you know, indie version of Jaws. It's the worst version. Basically, it's about these two girls who get trapped underneath the water and door, and they, every time they go try to help them, it just doesn't work. We also have the stupid dream sequence, you know, stuff. And the horror isn't really dealt because they're just in the case 90% of the film. And there's no real development in the movie. Its sequel is still even worse. But I'm not watching that at all. And yeah, basically the whole, you know, stakes is them running out of oxygen. That's the old stakes. The socks can never get them. And basically they're just going to die out without oxygen. That's basically it is. But yeah, basically they're so scared of being stuck in the water, but why would he go on the trip? Yeah, and yeah, the actors are completely awful in this movie. Uh yeah, awful. Ab abysmal the awful acting in this movie. Yeah, I hate I don't like this movie. Number three, Men in Black International. Oh dear Ward. This movie Oh god, this movie. Man Black and the National. I hate this movie. Man Black and the National is a disgrace to Man Black. Yes, this movie is garbage. It is the trash of the Man Black and the Na series. It's just awful. 
Okay, you have bad characters, you have bad writing, you have a bad story. And let's not forget all the anti-men parts in this movie. How many times have the main character has the other character that is played by, I can't think of her name, the woman character, insulted men in the entire movie. This is basically a feminist version of Men in Black. Basically, Tessa, oh, I remember her name, Tessa Thompson's character basically is insulting men throughout the whole movie, even though she's basically working with another man on her job. Okay? And the villain isn't even that great either. Yeah, the villain is terrible and forgettable. This movie... It's just a cash grab. That's really, really is. And they started to throw some woke stuff in it as well to piss people off even more. No wonder why this movie flopped to the box office because it's a pile of garbage. Number four, John Carter. Dear Ward, I watched this movie twice. Once in 2012 and again last year. And both of the times, I didn't like this movie. You wonder why this movie flopped? Well, because it sucks. It's a pile of dog crap, okay? I reviewed this movie, and I said it was garbage. And yeah, John Carter is a $200 million flop. Yep, $200 million flop. The CGI characters are not that the characters are not that memorable. It's basically about this guy. He gets in trouble. He goes to jail. He dreams about going to Mars, and he somehow goes on Mars and saves the kingdom of Mars from these other bad guys who are trying to kill him off. Like what? What? The characters are forgettable. The plot is not that great. And yeah, this movie. Is just one of the most forgettable movies ever made. The only reason why people remember this movie even existed is because of what the biggest box office failure of all time. And considering that Felix might not be coming back, this movie be just remembered as the biggest box office flop of all time in all of history. Yeah, no one went to go see this movie because this movie is a pile of garbage. We have tail. We the characters are not that great, and it's just not that memorable. And they released this against the Hunger Games, expecting it to be a massive box of a success. Disney released this against the hu fucking Hunger Games. This is why people don't like Disney anymore. Yeah, Don John Carter, garbage. Number five, Prometheus. Oh my god, I hate this movie. Prometheus. I was thinking to to one of the free alien movies. I don't like. Is going to appear on this list. But the one I hate the most is Prometheus. Prometheus is boring and it's garbage. Okay? It is an alien movie. It's about these two people, two gray being gray, boring, wifeless characters playing God. Half the movie. Okay? It's terrible. The human characters are the most uninteresting characters. You could probably ever have in a movie. The only other movie who had more uninteresting characters was fucking Redcon 1 and Jaws the Revenge. Prometheus is basically. And the sad thing is, this has a seven out of. This is actually considered to be a good movie. Well, I didn't like this movie. I hate Prometheus. It's one of my least favorite movies of all time. Prometheus is a simply a pile of garbage. So. And there's no anti-alien movie without the aliens. It's just about these two Dr. Manhattan clones that's praying God. The only alien that appears in the movie is that the, the only aliens that appear in this movie are other brand alien movies. We want them, we want the killers that made the alien movies famous. Thank God and cover the covenants have actually had aliens in the movie, but still it still couldn't fix the the Damage that was done by Prometheus. Number five, six. The Predator. The new Predator. I'm talking about the new Predator movie. Not the old Predator movie. But yeah, this is this movie is just... Ugh, I hate this movie. I watched this movie once and I'm never going to watch it again. The Predator is basically the remake of Predator that nobody wanted. People were excited for this movie until they realized how bad this movie was. This movie... Is too cheesy for a fucking Predator movie. It's a fucking horror movie, okay? No, okay, it's a fucking action movie, and you have all this cheesy stuff. You have these boring human characters, you know, these boring, uninteresting human characters with no reason to, you know, root for them. You know, you have no reason to root, you know, the alien is just 
doing stuff. They are stale because, you know, reasons? Because the aliens want to kill people? Yeah, this movie is garbage. You know, it's just trash. And no wonder why this is one of the last movies that fought for Fox. This movie is one of the most forgettable movies that Fox has ever released. Yeah, this is going to be remembered as the one reboot that... Uh, this movie should be remembered as how not to reboot a franchise. And yeah, if you want to watch a good Predator movie, just watch the first two movies. Don't watch Predator, the Predator. It's, it's just not a good movie. Number 7. Divergent. The whole franchise. Divergent is the crappy version of Hunger Games. The fact that people think this is so amazing and groundbreaking is just laughable. I have always... I've watched this movie once as two sequels. However, I'm sorry to inform you that Divergent, the whole franchise, is a pile of garbage that you shouldn't watch. There's much better post apocalyptic movies better than this movie, okay? Better than Divergent. Divergent basically takes place in Chicago after... The, after supposed the apocalypse happens, well, basically everybody is divided into five factions, and basically if you're not part of these five factions, you will be put on the faction list, which is basically poor people, or you consider a diversion, and you must be killed because you are a normal goddamn person. What the fuck is this goddamn plot supposed to be about? So if you're a normal person, you die. So you have to be one of these. What what the hell kind of story is this? And yeah, I don't wonder why people didn't like Divergent that much. The books suck as well, the movies suck, and everything about this world building, the world building of this series suck, which I'm not going to explain, there's a whole entire movie, not a whole entire YouTube video explaining why the world building of Divergent sucks. Just watch that video if you really want to know the really awful world building of the franchise. The characters suck. The, fran the entire franchise of the Divergent franchise it's just garbage. And there's these people, there are people who are trying to convince me that Divergent is this amazing series. No, it isn't. There, and, and those people who hate the Hunger Games, watch the Hunger Games instead of Divergent. You're wasting your time watching, you know, Divergent. Number 8. Redcon 1. If you want to know the absolute worst of, of zombie survival movies, just watch Redcon 1. It is a really bad British survival movie that... <sighs> has quite possibly the most unlikable cast of characters in the history of a movie. Okay, so basically these people are sent to go kill to find a cure for the zombie, for the apocalypse and the zombie apocalypse in London. And then they realize that the government put them in a trap and... Basically, they have to rescue some scientists, but they kill the scientists anyways because the because the mil because the go because the military person started anyways because he wanted to screw over society. Okay, Red Con One is basically the worst zombie home movie ever made. The characters are horrible. The acting is horrible. There is nothing good about this movie. And yeah, this is really, yeah, this movie is a pile of garbage. Please do avoid this movie at all costs. Red Con One does not deserve your money at all costs. This movie is trash. Number nine, Zars the Revenge. This movie somehow avoided my last list. How? How did a pile of garbage avoid my last list? I yeah. If you want to know, the, this movie was simply made as a cash grab because the first Star's movie was so popular because of Sir Steven Spielberg's brilliant writing and brilliant plot structures that he put in his movies. But this movie is simply to try to cash grab on the Star's movies. Star's The Revenge is basically the worst Star's movie ever made. Yes, even worse than Star's 3D. How could they top such an awful movie? Well, Star's The Revenge has the most, you know, Famous story of all the Zars movies. Basically, they, the Sark wants to get revenge on the people who killed the Sark from the first movie. Yep, that's the entire plot of the movie. And this movie isn't even scary, okay? The reason that makes Scar's Zars scary is the Sark is actually scary. They actually set up the characters and set and make this Sark actually scary in the movie. But Zars the Revenge is just a cheesy version of Zars. It is a mistake. That it is a reminder that Hollywood sometimes you sort of make too many sequels to one movies. Thankfully, this finally killed the Zars franchise, so we won't see Zars Five, which you know 
which would be even worse than Zard's The Revenge, which, yeah, hopefully that never gets made, where Zard's 5 is about the sock somehow walking on land and eating people on land. Oh, yeah, so it's an interesting concept. Oh, wait, Hollywood might be watching my video. Number 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number 10. So out of all of the movies that I have talked about, we have to talk about Howard the Duck. Probably quite easily the worst Marvel movie ever made. How, if I could quite, quite ex describe this pile of garbage that... Lucasfilm made. This is the same. This is the same people who made Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Oh, well, guess what? They made this trash. Why? Why would they spend and waste the money making such a garbage movie? How the Duck is basically a mo movie that's the why does this exist? Out of all the Marvel properties it could have made into a movie, you had Captain America, you had Iron Man, you had the Hulk. You had, of course, the iconic Spider-Man, but guess what we made into a movie? Fucking Howard the Duck. Okay, the first, you know, Howard the Duck, for some reason, somehow goes to the earth. And, of course, there's fucking duck boobs in this movie. And this is a fucking PG movie, and there's, the, there's fucking boobs in this movie. Why? Why does this movie exist? And then Howard the Duck goes to earth, and he has to save earth from bad guys. And he forms the, he forms the, and... Yeah, and you thought Sonic 06 was bad. Oh yeah, this is like Sonic 06, but made in the 80s. This movie is garbage. That's what it is. How the Duck is a mistake on the on the Marvel Universe. This entire movie is a mistake on the Marvel Universe. It makes the 1990s Captain America movie look like a masterpiece. It makes up. It's just as bad as such. It's even. It's even worse than the Fantastic Four movie. It's even worse than Captain Marvel. I will watch Captain Marvel a hundred times over this garbage ever again. And yeah, How the Duck is one of the worst movies in the entirety of the history of movies. And yeah, that is 10 more movies that I do not like. And How the Duck, get out of here. You're garbage, okay? You are garbage. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye.